Hi guys, so it's been a little while since we've done something a little more creative, I guess. Uh, it's been a while since we've been up to some shenanigans, I would say. So today I finally want to try to do the Velociraptor nails. I saw these nails on TikTok from at Nails That Drip, and they are basically... Well, you'll see. I feel like they really speak for themselves. There's some real claws. And ever since I saw them, whenever I think to do a video, those just pop in my head and I cannot think of anything else. So I can't film anything else until we do these. I feel like they might be kind of hard to do, but I'm hoping I can at least get somewhere near what they did. I feel like we haven't done something like this since maybe the wavy nails. They used acrylic and I am going to start with acrylic. If I am just not able to get that to work, then we will move on to poly gel. I actually don't have any nails on at all right now. So one hand is going to be Velociraptor nails and another hand, I don't know. I feel like I'm just stalling because I'm really nervous. Let's just do it. I'm going to start out with just some regular nail forms to make the, I guess, curve, claw, I don't know. For the acrylic, I actually grabbed out some of my Nita's Nails Galore acrylic because their formula dries so quick and that's what I need today since we have to sort of sculpt upwards. I do only have the Halloween ones, so I'm just gonna try to avoid the chunky glitter in it. I did also grab out some Anna acrylics as those ones also dry pretty quickly, just in case. I feel like it might be a little hard to see with the clear, so let's just see if it works. I absolutely regret not remembering to buy some just regular clear acrylic from Anita's Nail Galore because this would have definitely helped, but it's okay. I feel like the chunky glitters, it's fine. Oh my gosh, are we getting somewhere already? You know what this nail looks like though? This just makes me think of my dog's nails. Specifically the one that has suddenly decided that they no longer want their nails trimmed and they will potentially tolerate getting their back nails trimmed But their front nails are off limits. So that's fun So it seems like we're gonna just need a sort of like flat base To stick it on the real nail. I don't know how long to make these. How do you even measure this? I don't know if I'm making them curved enough I don't think I am. I keep looking back at their video and mine seems absolutely like too straight up. It needs to be a little bit more, I guess, like this way, I think, right? Or am I doing it? I don't know. So surprisingly, actually, so far, so good. Actually hasn't been like too strenuous, I guess. So I think that's probably thick enough to just stand up on its own. For the first one, I just wanted to dive in and just start sculpting. And I wasn't really thinking about how like long the base should be. So this one looks like it will fit my pinky. So I'm gonna have to make the bases longer. I'm just gonna keep this one over here for reference. I'm just gonna start the bottom now, make it a little bit wider than the last one. Ooh, this bead's a little thin, that's okay. It probably would have been smart to do this in a color, but I thought that this acrylic would be the easiest to work with. And I only have clear and glitter in this brand, I believe. Okay, you know, I don't think there's like a gold standard for a starter Velociraptor nail, but this looks pretty nice if I do say so myself. Good angle, uh, sharp at the end. I don't know. I am so scared for how long this is gonna take to file. Two down, wow. It's going so much quicker than I thought. I don't wanna jinx myself though. I think that one will fit this nail. So for sure, sometimes I like to do, you know, like try to do pretty sets and try out kits and stuff, but I definitely miss doing a little bit more, you know, like fun stuff like this. So something I've been getting requested for quite a while now was to do another trying, what did I name that? What did I name that series? Oh my gosh making nails out of unnecessary items, which I might change the name of that, but nonetheless, you get the idea. If there is anything that you would like to see me put in an acrylic, make a tip out of, use as decoration, that kind of sounds um, cursed to you, just let me know in the comments. When it comes to do that video, I will just go through and uh, make a nice little list of whatever you guys think. I think last time, what did we do? Hot Cheetos, dog hair, I think a leaf, pasta, and if there's anything else, I am totally blinking. I hope that these are not too hard to just sort of live with. I'm a little scared also for just my actual nail, like if it's gonna like 
tug on it weird because there's no like normal apex. I don't know. I think it's gonna be weird. I'm doing the thumb right here a little bit shorter than I normally do. I've recently started doing that where I make the thumb shorter than everything else because it makes the nails in general easier to manage. Like you would be surprised how much easier it is to do things with just the thumb being a bit shorter than the rest of your nails. So I'm gonna let this one dry, but it looks white enough that should, oh, I'm gonna be glitter, that's fine. I think I did this one a little too long, but I'm hoping it's fine. I have all five done here. So let's undo them from the, I was about to say package, from the form. I'm sure that there's gonna be some spillage and just a little bit we need to clean up, but that looks good to me. I think that's gonna work. This one might need some cleaning up, that's fine. Ah. And then I'm not sure if this one is dry. Oh, it is. Cool. So here they are. Ooh, I'm so nervous. Okay, so now I have some crusty nails. We're going to need to just prep a little bit. And then I guess we just like stick them on with acrylic and hold it until it's stuck on. We'll give my actual nails and hands so that I can't seem to stop cutting up, doing random things, a wipe with some alcohol, get any oil or anything off. I did have a sort of like clear strengthener coat on there, but I'm gonna leave it. I don't think it needs to come off. It's probably almost already off anyway. I'm going to clean this up just a little and just make sure I have a nice flat bottom to attach to my nail. I am going to put a little bit of dehydrator on and a little bit of primer. I'm not going to do the whole nail or anything. I want these to stay on for like two days, not for a month. And it's pretty dry now. I am going to say it again. I had a little lifting on this nail. Best thing to do for a nail like that is to not touch it, but I am not going to do that. You do that at your own risk. I am going to try to put this on with acrylic. So I'm taking a super dry bead. I'm gonna let it harden up for a second. And here's the moment of truth. Let's try sticking this in there. Oh, maybe too hard. Maybe? That does not feel right. What the heck? Oh my God. I don't even know what to say. This feels wrong. It feels like I'm committing a crime. Even just on my nail, it feels like, mm -mm. it doesn't feel super strong. So I am going to, again, take a super dry bead and try to reinforce it at least just a little bit to where I can work with it a little bit better. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I feel like it takes some serious skill to do this with acrylic. And I think we're gonna have to switch to poly gel just because I cannot imagine trying to sculpt out this whole flat side to be sort of like round. This is so strange. I'm just doing the base for the rest of the nails now. I do think it is best to do the sort of center in acrylic just because acrylic is so much stronger. Something, just a guess, tells me that these nails are gonna catch on things. So as thick as poly gel would be for these, I'm sure it would be fine, but I just, you know, put a little too much. <laughs> acrylic overlay on. Now let's just attach the rest of these. Dry bead, nail, let's see. Oh, dog hair. <sighs> okay, let's just get the rest of these on. have all of them on. It's definitely uh, something. I feel like I keep freaking out because I keep banging them on things already. I went to just grab this poly gel really quick and I felt like I almost knocked a couple off. So you're definitely gonna use poly gel. I think that's gonna make this process a lot quicker. Plus poly gel is so much easier to file because it is so much softer. And I don't know how I'm gonna like try to file these like round and circular to a point that sounds so hard. So I think poly gel is our best bet. I grabbed these two shades out. I just wanna see what colors they are. This one says it's highlighter. What does that mean? I don't know, let's see. I don't really wanna use clear for 
the poly gel because I want to be able to see what I'm doing. Let's see. Okay, sort of like a disco ball color. I don't believe this has any like hollow reflect or anything like that. It's just silver. Wouldn't that be fun? Just some like silver claws. Rosy. And just a nice soft pink color. Matches my background. That's probably what we'll go with. <sighs> Back and forth on if I want to put a base coat on so the poly gel sticks to it. I think I'm gonna try not to. So let's just, let's start here. I think that I'm just going to quite literally just squeeze some out. Goodness, I am already making a mess. Okay, just gonna push this down and build up this side a little bit because it was laying on this side on the form and that was obviously flat and the other side is built up a little bit. So this is what we have for this. Uh, I have no words. I just don't have any comments. Rare. So I'm just going to cure that. I think my first step is going to be sort of rounding off each side of the base. I cannot imagine how much poly gel I'm about to use. And I think it should all just come together, right? Like that, that looks fine. You can see the vision in it. No, me neither. Maybe we're getting somewhere. Where? I have no idea. It's actually pretty smooth for the most part. So it's actually coming along. I have to fill in some little gaps and stuff, but not too bad actually. Just cure it for a while. All right, just a little bit over here now. Try to smooth everything over a little bit. So here's what I have after filling it and trying to make the uh, base as round as possible. It looks okay. It looks like a little tilted and I think that's because my forms are a little rounded at the bottom. I think I can fix that during filing, but nonetheless, here is... My other camera just died really quick. My here it is. I am going to just do most of these as this is a super time consuming process and I will check back with you in a minute. So da -da -da. magic transition. Here they are. I'm pretty much just finishing up this one and smoothing it out. I'm not gonna lie, these do be pretty heavy. I'm wiping each one of these down really good now with alcohol because they're gonna be sticky. Honestly, they feel so weird too. They don't feel like right. They feel, I don't even know how to describe it. Like your nail's about to pop off, but they're not going to, if that makes any sense. So here's about the shape of them. Uh, they feel real weird. I'm going to file them now. I think I'm going to have to use my e-file for the most part and then probably a buffing block. I feel like a regular file might have too many like straight sides. I don't know, we'll have to see. I have no method for how I'm gonna go about this. I'm just gonna try to see what works. I'm gonna try to get the points a little bit pointier. I'm gonna try to get the bases a little rounder. It's gonna be a journey and I'm not gonna talk cause I need to be like down here, like real close trying to look at all the details. So let's go. Okay, so I am done with the filing, but my plan a little bit with the color of these has changed and I want to explain my reasoning. So whenever I filed them, some of the clear started to come through and when you see them, it kind of looks a little striped. I feel like it looks so much like my dog's nails. He has little socks that we call on his feet and since he's black and white, his nails are sort of like striped. Half are like white and half are black. Some are split down the middle, other are like kind of striped. And I feel like they look so similar that I really want to keep it like this. I wanted to keep them just as they are and just put a top coat, but I'm going to put one of my absolute favorite gel polishes. It's this rose gold from Ellen Nail. It. I absolutely love this one. I use it all the time. So I think that that will look good on these and it isn't completely opaque. So some of the striped color should still show through a little bit. So let's do that. 
I think these are actually so cool. I don't think I've given you guys like a really good look yet, but they're actually really fun. I feel like putting my fingers down feels so weird because it's like this, right? That's normal. But then when I put them down, like, I don't know. It's such a weird feeling. I can't even explain it. So I'm going to start with this. Oh, look how pretty. I love this one. I did my absolute best to get these as smooth as possible, but it was so hard. Uh, I think I have dust stuck in my lip gloss. I don't know if this will focus, but this is the gloss that I've been using. I get asked what I use a lot. It's the Revlon Super Lustrous, Lustrous? The gloss, and it's just in clear. I like this one, and I like the Lime Crime Wet Cherry. I think in clear, I just really love like really glossy clear glosses, and that's what I use. I get asked a lot, surprisingly. I didn't realize how many questions I would get about the gloss that I wear, but... That's it. Look at how pretty this gel is. My fave. I think this color was the right choice. Sometimes I love doing stuff like this because I personally see a lot of like makeup, hair, nails as art nowadays. I know everyone has their opinions on what they like do and don't like, you know, some stronger than others, but I don't really like hate like any makeup styles or nail styles, shapes whatever anymore. I always just feel like it's really interesting when I come across videos of people talking about like nail stuff I hate and it's like duck nails and stuff. For me, I just wouldn't hate them. I don't know. I feel like that's just like really strong word for just something like that doesn't really matter very much. Some people get really heated over, I don't know, someone else having a different nail shape. I just think it's kind of funny to make those kind of people mad, but whatever. Oh, what I was saying though. I've seen some really good duck nails lately. I think as products evolve and styles and techniques evolve, like everything just gets so good. I never really thought I would wanna personally just like wear duck nails, but I've seen some peoples recently that I've looked at and I've been like, you know, I would wanna wear those. I just think, I don't know. Maybe we will revisit duck nails and I'll try to do some like good ones. I remember last time I tried, I tried, but I feel like I have a little bit more practice nowadays to be able to do, you know, shapes other than a stiletto. You know, I don't usually do this, but I have a little bit of a hot take. If you disagree, please let me know and why. I think that stilettos are the easiest nails to do because I feel like they're a lot easier to fix if you make them uneven than like a square or anything like that. And I don't know, I just feel like they're just so much easier than any other nail shape. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Just gonna cure these now for a bit. We'll move on to a top coat. I'm gonna use this one because it is quite thin and I think that'll be good for these because I need this to sort of seep down in the crevices. It was really hard to get around the cuticle since the curve kind of goes outward, if you know what I mean. So it was really hard to get that area without like getting your skin. I just looked at the clock and I've been doing these for like six hours now. It did not feel like that long. I am so excited to show my husband, the nails, he's come in and out a couple times to grab some footage so he can start editing, but he has not seen them because he only has up until the footage of when we put just the piece from the form on. And so he has no idea what these look like and I have been hiding them from him so we can actually get like a reaction. I'm giving them a good final wipe with alcohol to get any sticky residue off. And here they are. I feel like at this angle, they look like normal stilettos and then you like turn them over and they're claws. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know how I did. Let me know how I did doing the Velociraptor nails. These were difficult, but not as difficult as I thought they would be. I definitely thought they were gonna turn out way worse than they did. I think they turned out okay, actually. I think the rose gold is cute and I like that I match with my dog because I'm a crazy dog person. Anyway, uh, uh, let's go see what David thinks. <laughs> Cool, I like those a lot. Those are fun. Okay, you might hate this. Okay. You know what they look like? What? Little gnome hats. What? How do you think I did? I think you did a good job. I'm honestly like, I wouldn't know that you laid these flat on, like you started building them from flat, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, I think they're really well-rounded. Thank you. 
no, you did a good job. Like, technically, you executed very well. <laughs> Thank you. They're a lot of fun. <laughs> Persephone. <laughs> Zoe, what are you doing? <laughs>